the road to progressing through trauma, developing yourself, loving yourself, making yourself a better person, feeling better, is a very simple but very difficult journey. And in, in my opinion, there's one very specific practice or a multitude of practices that encompass one overarching goal that can lead you down the path correctly. And that would be awareness. So this can be seen in the form of, of meditation. You know, a lot of content creators constantly push meditation and quite frankly, meditation is probably the most profound thing that anybody could ever do. It's going to single-handedly allow you to control your thoughts and your brain and the the benefits that, that come with that is is immense it, you become a lot more present you are able to with that presence you're able to focus on the things you want to focus on when your mind isn't swimming with random thoughts and you can be a lot more clear you won't catch yourself doing something for an extended period of time that you don't want to be doing you're not going to get off your computer after playing six hours of games you know if you've meditated every day for for an hour for seven months you're not going to be at, you're not going to be at a point where all of a sudden you get up and it's been six hours of playing a game because your ability to have a clear mind and focus on what you want to focus on will only allow you to do so much so if you've got up after playing a game for six hours that's because you genuinely wanted to do that and you had nothing else going on but generally that isn't the case right generally we're playing games where you know covering up bad feelings or we're procrastinating or whatever it is right so you know awareness encompasses meditation encompasses as simple as what i'm doing right now where i can feel myself in my chair i can feel my weight on my chair i can feel my feet on the ground i can feel this little this little pit this little knot that i've always had in my stomach and learning to be aware and pay attention to the feelings in your body very specifically the feelings in your body can really be the main remedy to most problems to be completely honest like most people these days are so distracted pay almost no attention to themselves don't pay any attention to how they feel or why they feel or um what's going on in their body your body has the answer to to every question to ha has the answer to everything you could possibly want to know like if you if you need to do an assessment and you've got to sit down and play a computer game instead if you pay really close attention to your body your body is going to tell you not to do that because your body knows that is not the right thing for you to be doing so learning to become super aware of your body and the feelings you have in your body is vital and honestly at the start it's mind-numbing it's overwhelming it's exhausting but just like with anything you build up a tolerance and a resilience and eventually you get to a point where you are incredibly strong and stable and this also helps significantly with your emotional stability and control so a little bit of my story is essentially i grew up in a house with an alcoholic father wasn't was you know very very verbally abusive so i was always yelling always parents were always fighting and i was always on alert i then went to primary school and got diabolically bullied for quite a few years so i was born and, and raised in a situation where there was no safety i didn't feel loved i didn't feel like my peers respected me i didn't feel like i was good enough i was always on alert you know even now so sometimes when i'm sitting i can feel like i'm not in my chair i'm still like raised up i'm like tense you know so <clears throat> learning to feel my body has aided me in understanding you know where i'm holding my tension and how is that's impacting my life
high tolerance for stress, which in, in, in some elements I did. But the problem with that is that most people nowadays feel, like I said, feel a bad feeling, feel stress, and we distract ourselves. So my ability to handle stress was higher than the average person, but I was also constantly distracting myself. So my ability to handle my own feelings wasn't great. If I couldn't distract myself or the feeling was too strong, it was, it was game over, right? So learning to be aware of my body and pay attention to my body, like, and when I say that, I mean all the time. Like, you, like I did it religiously. I was constantly paying attention and it was genuinely mind-numbing like, and, and exhausting. But, you know, in the last couple of months specifically, because I'm still new on this journey, I've been super seriously working on myself for about a, about a year now. Yeah, almost exactly a year, a year, a year and like a week maybe. And specifically in the last two months, my ability to, my emotional regulation, my ability to handle emotions and everything is, is infinitely greater. There were times many, many months ago when I, was work, when I was working through childhood trauma and I was working through this and that, that, you know, I would get overwhelmed almost every day working through it. And you know, after you do that for a certain amount of time, you work through a lot of things. And I'm certainly nowhere near done working through it, but I definitely took a step back from honing in on my trauma. And the practice of constantly paying attention to my body and feeling what's in my body. And every single time I feel something, I force myself to pay attention to it. So even if it's not an appropriate time, I'll force myself to pay attention to it for like 30 seconds. And then, okay, I'll compartmentalize it and put it away for later. But learning to actually feel these feelings and pay attention to them and not just push them away or distract will, like I said, increase your tolerance and increase your emotional stability. So like I said, your awareness can help in so many things. So for example, your ability to tolerate and control feelings will become infinitely greater, <laughs> will become infinitely greater if you are paying attention to every good and bad feeling that you have, specifically bad feelings, right? So every time I feel stressed, I will pay attention to it for as long as I want. You know, sometimes I'm at work, I'm on, I won't say what I do, I'm, on, I'm at work, I'm doing whatever I'm doing, and it's all right, I'm not too busy, so I can spend the next hour just feeling my body, and, you know, other times I can't, other times I, only, I can only give 30 seconds to it because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm studying, I'm doing an essay, whatever it is, right? So... Learning to pay attention to your body can remedy so many things. Another example is, you know, because of how I grew up, I have a incredibly strong anxious anxious attachment style. So, you know, I can have I can have that with you know romantic situations or with just friendships. And and learning to pay attention to my body allows me to compartmentalize what is happening in the moment. What is a feeling that's coming up from the past? Oh, is this my attachment style? Is this my attachment system activating? Is this a flashback to trauma? Whatever it is. And you become, or I've become, infinitely more emotionally stable. I can't remember the last time that I had a feeling of overwhelm. You know, a feeling where it's like, I don't know what to do. This isn't going to, this isn't going to leave. Whatever it is, you know, like, and, and I've gone through an insanely bad childhood and I've had years of that feeling and when I started going through my trauma a year ago I had that feeling almost every single day it was it was insane so for me the practice of, of feeling my body has significantly improved my ability to withstand and handle what is going on around me so yeah that's really um the whole purpose of this video today is just is just to encourage you know you to feel your body be aware of what's happening why are you thinking what what you're thinking what's the reason that you just got annoyed at that person cutting you off what's the actual reason because it doesn't actually doesn't affect you you're not going to go any slower getting to work why does it why did it, why do you care you know why did you sudden all of a sudden just tense up what's the reason behind that so and not only the you know not, not only the backbone and the foundation of what's happening and why but just simply paying attention to those feelings okay this is stress i know i feel stressed i know it will go away eventually that's okay or i know this is stress but i've got to put it away for now i'll deal with it later so yeah that's really it just learning to be aware and paying atten paying attention to yourself is such a vital skill in this distracted society just learning to do that you will be miles ahead miles ahead of every other person you know genuinely